Alright, hey guys, it is Chris here again with another video, and in this video today we're going to be taking a look at the Willowbrook Mall in Wayne, New Jersey, not the one down in Texas. This is in Wayne, New Jersey. Um, so the reason why we're taking a look at the Willowbrook Mall today is because um, on a website called TheLayoff.com, it was announced that this Sears store at the Willowbrook Mall in Wayne, New Jersey would be closing in mid-September of 2019. So. It was announced yesterday, Saturday, July 13th, 2019, and here's where I got the information from. So Sears, Wayne, New Jersey. So it says, we were just told yesterday that our store is closing in September. No store is safe. We were in a REIT store that recently went through a major remodel and was shrunken down about two and a half years ago. They said, not shocked, but didn't expect it to be so soon. This was posted by Anonymous. Um, so what we have here is the uh, Willowbrook Mall itself. Now. About two, yes, so remember there was that thing about Dave and Buster's coming to the mall, so pretty much what happened was this Sears was literally cut right in half, like almost like a uh, like you're cutting half a sandwich pretty much, so this Sears was pretty much cut in half like a sandwich, so this part of the store remained as Sears right here, and over here is going to be a couple of new stores, and on the upper level, um, a new Dave and Buster's was built, but don't get your hopes up, it was just another, another 330A installed within the building. Um, so anyways, in honor of this store closing, we're going to get a street view of this store from all angles of the store as the store was under construction um, around the, the time this thing was made. So let me go ahead and get you guys a quick uh, little street view. So what we have here um, is the northeast entrance of the store. So we're going to give you guys a few moments here to admire uh, this wonderful entrance. I might have to actually go back a little bit to get it uh, better, ang better angled and positioned. So give me one second here. Let me see. Is there a way to do it here? No. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think here. Yeah, I, I think we're. I think we're just gonna have to do it this way. I, it's not the best view, but you at least get the. Let me move it back a little bit. You at least guys get the view of the Sears store and the awning. So without a further ado, here we go. In three, two. One. All right, and moving on. So this is also part of the store. So we'll give you guys a few seconds to admire this part of the building. So once again, let me just. I mean, actually, no, no, no. I'm gonna keep it out there. Okay. So here we go. In three, two, one. All right, and moving on. So that's also another entrance to, we're gonna get a 3D view of the entire building um, right at the end of this video, but I figured I wanna get you, wanna make sure you guys get a street view. This is a really iconic um, piece of the building. So this actually, this sign right here used to say Sears and they literally stripped it because this is where the new Dave and Buster sign was. So I'll give you guys a few seconds here to admire that because that, that right there is an iconic moment right there. So without a further ado, here we go in three, two, one. All right, and moving on. Um, this is just some more construction of the store. Just nothing really, nothing really exciting. That I believe used to be an entrance into the store, and that did too back there. Um, this looks like another entrance. Oh wow, they were boarding this up. So we'll give you guys a few seconds here to admire that. And then there's just some more work happening with the building. We're gonna skip around that. Um, and that's that's actually, this is actually the old auto center. Um, this auto center is now expected to become a new cinema for the mall, which is actually very interesting. I don't, yeah, I don't think we can get over there. So this is just the building really quickly. All right, and moving on. Let me see. Let me see if I can get another street view of the building. I don't know if we can. Oh, maybe we can. Let me see here. Yeah, you can see it was it was the whole auto center was literally stripped. It's it's pretty uh, it's pretty sad, you know. I mean, I, you know, I personally don't see a future for Sears. Um, you know, we don't have that many left in New Jersey, and and I think if there's another round of closures, and they even in some of these. 
um, what's it called, things that these people wrote. They said there's going to be more closures to come. So this might just be the beginning of a uh, very slow death. That's what, I mean, obviously Sears has been dying for a couple of years, but now this is like the more like the death might be coming sooner than later because I, there's some, I don't know, some annual report came out and they didn't do very well. So now they're trying to close as many stores as they can to make as, as to, to maximize their profits. But that in the end is going to, is going to, you know, destroy the company, unfortunately. So anyways, there's just a little bit of more things here. Uh, this looks like, I'm not sure what this was back in the day. Um, but this is also, I'm just giving you guys a few moments here to admire the auto center building. Um, and it's, this was taken about, I think two years ago, but it's it's been it's literally been stripped down. I think they mothballed the whole thing, and I believe the whole building as of now is gone. Like this is another sign right here of the auto center. So we'll give you a few seconds there to admire it. Oh, well, I'll give you the whole thing. Get to get the garages too. That's kind of classic, you know. All right, and moving on here. So, oh, and this was the corner. This, oh yeah, this is the corner. This is the main entrance into the former auto center. What a shame, you know. It's it's just it's real. It's real sad. Uh, this was the old uh, loading dock for the former Sears store. You can see now it's it's probably going to be utilized by all the new uh, tenants that move in. So nothing really special there. And of course, what Sears did is similar to Staten Island. They did a little uh, area in this side of the store for merchandise pickup. So I don't know if we, I don't know if we can get over there. I'm going to try and see if we can. If we can't, then yeah, this is this is probably going to be the best view of the merchandise pickup area. So we'll give you guys a few seconds here to admire that. So here we go in three, two, one. All right, and moving on here. So now we're going to get a 3D view of the full store before they did the uh, renovation. So this is actually, hold on, let me just, I want to get make sure we get it going north. So what we have right down here, this was the uh, southeast entrance, uh, I believe two southeast entrances of, of for the former store. So there it is. Give you a few seconds there to admire that. This was the loading dock, obviously. Uh, the former garden center in the uh, southeast, I believe, oh no, I'm sorry, northwest portion of the store. This was the whole garden center as a whole. And you also had not one, but two northwest entrances into the anchor store. And you can see right there, um, I guess I'll give you a few of the garden center for one second. Um, they, they completely rerouted the road. They actually completely took out the Sears garden center um, and now this is just a normal, regular road. So you can see it, yeah, you can see there. Um, so we got two Northwest entrances and of course the former iconic uh, Sears logo sign. You, know, you don't see them, you don't see many of them anymore. Ironically enough, we still have our Sears left in Hackensack and I, I, it's just amazing. It's dodged so many closings. I guess it's still profitable for the company, but I, I wouldn't be surprised to see if it would be closing anytime soon. So these are the two Northwest entrance, entrances of the store. And then if you flip here, we have the uh, the two Northeast entrances of the store with the iconic Sears logo right in the middle of the two Northeast, Northeast entrances of the store into the uh, anchor building. And obviously, as we know, it's connected to the mall via uh, its uh, Southwest entrance. So anyways, so the next question is, am I really going to miss this Sears? Kind of, because this was actually, I mean, this was the closest Sears on a Sunday that you would go to from Bergen County. You'd either be going here or Nanuet. So I'm going to kind of miss this. Store. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not the same as it once was, but, you know, going to it when I was, you know, a much, much younger, you know, it was, you know, it was, it was pretty cool. But now they, you know, split the store in half and now it's much newer. So anyways, um, I probably do plan on visiting this store. Um, before I go off to college, so probably sometime between uh, the end of July and early August, I might go on like a Sunday or something early in the morning to go and visit the store for uh, one very last time. Take a final ride on that Schindler, uh, modernized Schindler 338. It actually used to be an Otis elevator, but now it, it was converted to Schindler back in 2010. You know, 
It's kind of funny though. They modernized that elevator in like late 2009 and uh, like mid 2010, not knowing almost nine years later the store would physically close. It's pretty. It's pretty insane, you know, to think that that would happen almost nine years after they modded both the elevators and the escalators. So. Anyways, guys, there's, unfortunately, there's no article available, so right now, until we have everybody else making their articles, this is the only video that gives you the statements and facts. So, Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. If you want to check out the uh, post on layoffs.com, you can check out the link in the description below. So, Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and that will be it.